Hello everybody, I'm Fatma from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can show keystrokes on your screen on Windows 10. This is useful if you record a lot of screencasts. What I usually do is that I add the keystrokes in post-production when I'm editing the video. It does take up time, so if you want to save that time, what you can do is you can install an app called Karnak. Once you download it, you can run the app. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the general tab and um, you can see that it has support for multiple monitors. Select where you want the keystrokes to be visualized. By default, it's going to show in a corner of your screen. But if you use these um, sliders, these top, bottom, left, and right offset sliders, you can change the position of the uh, visual for the keyboard stroke. Next, you want to go to the keyboard tab, and this is where you can select which uh, keystrokes are shown on your screen. If you don't change anything and you leave it to the default setting, it's going to show you every single key that you press, which means if you're typing, everything's going to be showing up on your screen. If you only wanted to show you uh, the keyboard shortcuts that you're executing, you should enable this option called Show Only Modifiers. And you can also play around with the color of the visual that you get on your screen for the keystroke. And last, you want to go to the mouse tab. Now, uh, the app also shows you mouse clicks. It's going to show you if you've uh, right-clicked or left-clicked. If you don't want this, what you can do is you can uncheck the show mouse clicks option. The mouse clicks feature is a bit buggy. So even when you disable mouse clicks, you still get the little um, display showing you which mouse button that you've clicked. If that's what's happening, what you should do is you should um, reduce the stop opacity slider to um, zero and you should change the circle fade delay to uh, 100. That's the minimum value that can that you can set for both these sliders. After that, you want to click Save, exit the app, and then run the app again, and the mouse clicks should stop showing up on your screen. Well, that's about it. I'll see you later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.